Hey everybody, this episode of Pinchy House Garage, we're installing SolarWorks coilovers on our Mark II GTI. So let's get to work. First things first, for your install of your coilovers, especially SolarWorks coilovers, uh, they come already with a, with a nut, uh, which I gotta find. <laughs> I just took and bolted it. Uh, it's somewhere around here. Uh, so take off the nut off of it, and then you're gonna need, uh, so if you guys have been following the whole entire build, um, Right now we're at the stage of where we're reassembling the car to get make it a roller so I can get send it out for paint. Um, <coughs> so uh, make sure your coilovers are as far down as possible so there's no tension on there. You're gonna buy, buy a brand new um, strut bearing. You're gonna mount that on top, and then a new strut cap. Now these are the uh, performance ones versus the stock ones that came with the metal plate on them. Much better, much stiffer. Uh, they do a better job, so mount that on top, and here's your strut cap. And we're going to go down this way to the, to the left. There you go. And then you're going to put your coilover underneath and load it up on top like that. Put your strut cap on top, and here's the nut for it. And let it drop. Now the next spot part is, remember, I don't like using impact tools on suspension unless you're removing them and getting rid of them, because uh, you can damage the inside of the. Um, these uh, the actual valving of the shock so we use this is Pinchy House Garage we're on a budget so you're gonna need a 20 what do you call it 22 millimeter socket uh, some plier or not pliers uh, locking pliers put this right on top hold it you're gonna need a six millimeter allen on top now what you want to do is hold the bottom one down and then I use a socket on here for leverage and then I loosen the top because that's actually reverse reversing it and you can actually tighten it down this way now you want to go all the way down so this sucker is nice and tight and you'll know when you get there So I didn't torque them all the way down yet, because remember we're just seating this car, so we're getting everything uh, for a mock-up, because we're going to get ready to start cutting and shaving the base soon. So I need this car to be able to roll back and forth when I'm doing some welding and uh, probably some painting down the road. So putting in the subframe and the wheels on here will help me, and actually the steering rack, so I can actually steer the car when we're moving stuff around. So there's that, and then we're going to show you guys and how that looks. Nice and mounted. If you head down this way, 
here's that and nice and firm in there the next uh, step is actually mounting the spindle uh, using your factory bolts and mounting the ball joint here uh, I haven't put in new ball joints yet I'm waiting for two new ball joints coming in right now so we can do that soon uh, but the suspension is really 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 firm on this car now with all new poly bushings on the control arms uh, poly bushings on the sway bar I'm actually gonna pull this bushing out soon because we actually have a poly bushing for this as well the next step to finish your mounting your solo works coilovers up in front is mounting your spindle there's not much to your spindle on this car uh, three bolts down below and two bolts on top So what I like to do first is mount the ball joint first, sliding that in, and then slide your spindle. We're using Corrado G60 spindles on this car, so we can use much, much larger brakes. Uh, we're going to 11-inch brakes versus the 9-inch uh, brakes that came on this car. You get your bolt here. Now, one thing you're going to notice on Mark IIs, there's actually a decent amount of play in here. Uh, that's because there's a little bit of a camber adjustment on this. So that means when you guys get this all lined up and ready to go, you need to go to an alignment shop and get this taken care of. Uh, once you have those two on there, down below, there's three bolts. I only have two for right now because I'm only mounting, like I said, I'm only getting this set up. Uh, the strut bushing that I got on this car was only 20 bucks, and it's a lot stiffer. So I want you guys to uh, know if you guys are going to do some upgrades for uh, suspension and performance on this car, definitely a good upgrade to this since the car doesn't weigh very, very much. Um, so that's on there nice. Uh, like I said, this is only a mock-up for the moment, but that's how you install your front coilovers. It's so easy on a freaking Mark II and a Mark III. Probably the easiest suspension I've ever done in my life, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think any other car gets easier than this. So that's it for the front on the Solar Works Coiler Wars up in front. We're going to do the rear ones now. Um, so let's go get let's get to it. The rear coilovers on these cars are actually a lot more complicated than the fronts. And I'm going to show you why. You guys can see this. I don't know why this is such a complicated setup, but it's very interesting. So on your coilovers here, you got a couple bushings. I uh, highly recommend upgrading to Prothane polyurethane um, bushings because they're a lot shorter and they're a lot stiffer uh, you'll notice by the height they're very different but they provide a much much uh, better uh, stiffness in the rear and longer life you probably never have to replace these again so what you're looking at is two sets uh, for left and right they're identical uh, you need to retain from the old stuff the two little saucer like uh, washers here keep the nuts uh, SolarWorks provides you two new nuts and there's two extra ones from the old uh, old setup this big uh, dish washer and then your lower bolt for the uh, shock uh, I always recommend replacing these guys whenever you do your uh, duel I haven't had the time to order them so I'm gonna do that once we're done with the actual car and actually gonna get it on the ground so the process goes like this for the install on this guy. Um, it goes, there's an actual like order you have to put them in. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So here's the coilover. So the big, big bushing goes on top. Yeah. This one goes on top. And then you insert it. Uh, there's a sleeve that you're going to need to use to line up that bushing. Just like that. 
So you ins install it, and once it's on top, then there's a there's this washer. This is a smaller one, the smaller cup one, and that goes facing down. But before you do that, you need to use one of the nuts that uh, that you get during your install. Uh, use one of the uh, provided SolarWorks one. It's a smaller nut. Now make that nice and tight. Uh, use a wrench, whatever you have, and then put this washer on top. And then you'll have your bushing. Uh, if you're going to be using the factory bushing, make sure the little notches are facing down. Same thing, notches facing down. That should cup that washer really nicely. Then you have this guy right here, the bigger saucer one. That's going to sit on top. Just like that. And then you're going to use another one of the SolarWorks nuts here. And you're going to use that to lock it down. Now I'm showing this off the car because it's a lot easier to see it like that. And then the last but not least, once everything's pushed and squished down really tight, this washer sits on top. And then you use one of the old nuts to lock it in place. That's it. That's the order that that goes in. I know it's really weird, but that's just, that's Volkswagen. Their rears are so odd. So let's actually get to installing them. Um, you might not need this washer, honestly, with the uh, Prothane ones, because it doesn't have the divot. I think you're just going to need this big one to squish everything down and then use a nut. I think that'll probably be the better option because it'll spread the pressure a lot better on here. Um, but I don't like how that sits a little loosey goosey. Maybe you want to use this one. That's actually nicer. probably do that. I actually like that combination more. So I think with the Prothane ones, this one uh, sits a lot nicer inside here. So we're going to go down. And if you can, squish it by hand a little bit harder. In between here is actually the strut tower that's inside the car. So that's how you don't see that yet, but we're going to do that. I prefer this setup more. Um, looks like it's sitting a lot nicer this way. Yeah, because if I put this one on top, it keeps the bushing lined up nicely. So like this, you'll see how that plays back and forth. So I think that will be a nicer setup. Very, very different from what I'm. I don't know. So I think this is going to be the best option for me. I'm going to do it this way. If there's a better way to do it, please. Down below, comment. Um, these protein bushings are a little different than the factory ones. But that's the issue with aftermarket. You know, it's different. But I like this setup. So, um, so uh, bushing on top. You're going to put that, put the insert in here. Uh, the metal insert here. Push in the coil over put this bushing with the big metal insert on top underneath I mean and then just the washer on top and lock that sucker down that looks like the best option so we're gonna show you how to do that right now you see here I have a tire two tires and a piece of wood uh, since I don't have the rear beam in uh, we're gonna use this to support the shock in here as well right off the bat make sure you have the bushing the insert and the one nut on top already on here okay just like that 
See that? We're going to do that right and then just install the shock first. And install your coil over, I mean, first. So. And then use your piece of wood to get that sucker in there. Just like that. And then we're going to move over here. So you guys can see this. You'll notice it's sideways right now, so we're going to fix that alignment. You'll see there, nice and straight. So the shock itself gives you a little top right here, so you can grab a crescent wrench, and then you're gonna get a wrench down here and lock that sucker down. So, with your crescent wrench, you're gonna grab a 16 millimeter wrench here, and you're gonna grab this wrench. And remember, you gotta go loosey to tighten it. Hold the nut down. So nice and tight. Not too tight. So once that's done, we're back over here with the uh, the instant uh, bushing here. So remember earlier we used the uh, the bigger cup, and we're going to put that one down below. Just like that. Hmm, didn't sit too high. I mean, it sits too. Ah, not stuck in there. Let's see. We can do this. So, with that, we're going to put that bushing down. So we're going to tighten this sucker down like this. Now this nut is the 17. This is the older one. So you'll notice you'll see it spinning now. So that means we're going to hold this down. Don't have the torque specs for this, so I highly recommend looking them up online. But right now, my torque spec spec is good and tight, and not too tight because you can strip some stuff. So what's happening here is that we're doing some compression now. Since now I'm pulling the bushing up higher, uh, you'll notice that it's going to sit lower here. So to confirm that this is actually doing a good job and doing what it's supposed to do is hold the shock in place. We're going to take the shock off the wood here. Now it's a little loose, probably because I have no tension on the top. See that? It's nicely right there. So now that that's there, we still got to tighten it up a little bit more. So back to holding the wrench down. That should have changed.
And that's it. That's how we install the rear coilovers on this guy. I'm not really fond of that, so we're going to figure out if there's something I'm missing here because there's a little bit of tension missing. Give me a moment here. Alright guys, so I figured out the way that you're going to have to install these coilovers. So, it's going to be the bushing. Uh, with these polyurethane prothane bushings, these are a lot different than the factory stuff, so it makes it a lot more difficult to install. But I figured out a way to do it and have a lot of good attention so the shock itself isn't loose inside the uh, tower. Because that's what causes the problems if they're loose. So if you ever hit bumps or anything like that, you can knock things out of the way or cause it to get loose. So, remember, metal sleeve and the bushing first. This portion has to be facing up. Get that going. I'm going to come right over here. You're going to see right over here the shock tower. Same process as before. Put your two wheels down below. Get yourself a 2x4 to get it in there and line it up. You'll see there it's in there nicely. So yeah, here's the kicker. Do not install the nut in here because um, this changes the height too much. These are much shorter than the uh, factory ones, so if you do the nut, what happens is that it's going to raise it too much and it's not going to put any tension inside the actual cup. So use the big washer insert in here first, all the way down, and then the little washer on top. And then get your nut right here. And what you're going to do is put a lot of tension on it. You're going to tighten this sucker all the way down. Let's see what size wrench I was using. So it's a 17. Just spin it until it starts spinning on its own. That way you have some room for the crescent wrench. Actually I'm not going to use this one. This one's too, too big. Making it difficult to... Let me see. Let me double check. Oh, that should be okay. So use a crescent wrench. Oops, wrong way. To start doing your tightening. And just use your wrench to, to hold it in place. Give me a second here. doing this so it's really nice and snug. Gotta confirm if it's done nicely. You're gonna come right over here. You're gonna take your two by four off. And you're gonna pay attention to how this shock sits. 
Now what you're gonna do, get you guys here. Put a little bit of a load on here. Not too much. Just until you start feeling tension on the top. And you'll notice that's in there nice and stiff. Before I could just I can touch it with my finger and it was it would wiggle like crazy. Right now it's still a little a little loosey, but we're gonna tighten it some more still. But that's what you want to do is when you do the install, um, because the other uh, shocks are very different. The inserts are very much larger than uh, than the other, so they don't work correctly. So we have to do it a little differently. But that's how you guys are gonna keep it on there. Once you've reached the uh, desired stiffness, which I'm pretty happy with, um, you're gonna get that Gigantor washer, and you're gonna put that on top. Um, use one of the older nuts. They're a little bit bigger. I like these a little bit more. They're a little bit larger in size. Just do that. Um, That's it. That's how you install front and rear SolarWorks coilovers on a Mark II GTI using Prothane polyurethane bushings on the rear. In the fronts we use the um, upgraded uh, rubber just like I showed you before. So a quick recap. Uh, coilover, bush, uh, bearing, bushing, install on top and then nut no uh, strut tower cap and then nut tighten it down with a 24 and a six millimeter allen and then your two bolts here on top of the actual spindle and your ball joint insert and that's pretty much your coilover install from front in the rear you're going to be using polyurethane so the big bushing with no nut on it with the metal sleeve in and then the metal little dish washer on your new bushing um, that looks like this the big metal insert is going to go down here face it down and then the little one on top just like that uh, then you tighten it down with the nut and then put your big washer on top and tighten that down a little bit and then that's it. That's your install for the rear suspension. Uh, we'll show you guys the uh, beam install once we get actually the uh, the new rear bushings put in for the beam. We'll have the DIY for that too. But yeah, this is a whole lot better than before. Um, I might have done something wrong, but I need to. If you guys have any comments on it, definitely hit me up and uh, let's talk. Thanks for watching this episode of Pinch Al's Garage with the Mark II uh, coilover by SolarWorks install. Alright, peace out.